We always joke about how we have one collective closet, but really it's really, really a y'all's closet, closet, closet that, we that we steal from. The next question is, who is the most fashionable? One. Wait, I'm not. Okay, sorry. One, okay. two, three. Because Danielle didn't want to vote for herself. <laughs> yeah. She knew she was Look the most Look at Essie's outfit. She's ki killing it with the hat. Sorry, what am I, chop liver <laughs> over here? We definitely look like bag ladies sometimes. Like yes. we loved vintage clothing, but like sometimes it got too too much. Yeah, yeah. We would wear like, like, like literally like holy. I think is very forward thinking. I don't even know if I've ever told this, but I think you're the Kanye of the group. <laughs> wow. Epic. Well, all I hear all day long at school is how great Marsha is at this, or how wonderful Marsha did that. Marsha, Marsha, Marsha! Yeah. Hiam, Danielle Hiam. I mean, you would say, say that. that. I yeah. Would say that. Springs at Coachella, there was like a, a pool party that we played, and I don't know whoever. I think his name was Serge, with an umlaut. Um, he found out where our hotel, like what hotel room we were staying in, and slipped that note under um, sure, our. Door. And it was pretty much, the, that was the first creepy thing that has ever happened to us. And uh, I mean, I hope it happens again. Look, I've got this. You again with your purple I've got fucking got my, mic. Right. I've got my clip on this side, so I don't hit anybody with it. That's what I mean. Yeah, 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 last time, guys. This time. How are the Brit Awards? The Brit Awards, right? Fun. Yeah. Um, lots of amazing performances. I was definitely like a drunk mom at a bar mitzvah. Because <laughs> you, you guys always end award shows with a lot of dancing. I mean, I mean I, apparently. The beginning, yeah. middle, and end was a lot of dancing. Yeah. I specifically remember my sisters telling me to sit down during Bruno Mars because I was <laughs> going a little crazy. <laughs> big fan of the big man. Uh, little man. Big man? Is he tall? I don't know. He killed I don't know. him. Yeah, he, killed he, him. Really, he really did go. Let's um, be honest, Beyonce killed it. Beyonce. Yeah, you guys are looking forward to Beyonce. Oh, yeah. She thanked she, me for dancing. Okay, yeah. Personally. They were like, go. going like this the whole time. 
But then she was straight off on the helicopter home. Is that like the exit people need to make nowadays? As she should be. That's the only <laughs> way Queen Bee travels. And nobody sees you do any drunk bar It's for dancing, I suppose. That's amazing. Uh, guys, you're going toe-to-toe -to -toe with Arcade Fire once again. Those guys are like the school bullies. No, they're fucking amazing. Are you kidding? <laughs> But again, they're a gargantuan band that you've got to kind of defeat in the international band. Well, do you know Essie almost got arrested at a Prince concert? Yeah, please explain. Because I tried to get on stage, and I think the security thought that I was going to do something to him. Well, and you would have. To be fair, he asked all the ladies to come up on stage, and we were kind of... We were in the, in the, <laughs> in the nosebleed section, but we, we ran down. She saw um, like a table that was just like a for a table production. right near the stage. And she, on her six inch heels, she hopped onto the table. She had, I literally saw his happening because I was too scared to go up. She had one hand up. She was on, on it. I literally, she felt victory. Victory was there. And then all of a sudden, the security guard with his hand on her face literally by her face, pushed me, pushed back. Yeah. And there were security guards, that, I think this is like a tactic that they use, I don't know, but there were security guards behind her that caught her. Yeah, so pushed by the face, catching. You know I bet a communication is the hardest thing for me to do. I think you might have stumped us. Oh, McKenna. like a YouTube video. Yeah. Oh, oh like okay. from back in the day? We were, you know, before, Before we release anything, we, we, we try and make the songs kind of the best we can. And I think, you know, we're always rewriting and writing parts. And um, yeah, I guess. We always kind of, whenever we write a song, we kind of um, play it live first a lot. Okay. No. No, no, no. Yeah. Lillian. I, will, I have such a it fun is, fact. Yeah, I will, for, I will at you, hide the band. I am so fangirling right now. I know, me too. Wait. Actually, funny story. Do I have you? a really funny story. Do you have one, too? No, that was story. the one I was going to... Um, my, at my fifth grade talent show, shout out to Adam Starkoff <laughs> and Justin Bavona. Um, <laughs> I played Aliens Exist with... We, we were a trio. I was a drummer you and a bassist, 10. and I was the guitarist, and we played Aliens Exist at my fifth grade talent show, and we won. Yeah. Boosh. So that might question, be my Mark favorite Blink-182 song. All we did were covers of, you know, classic rock songs. But they let us do one, like, newer song at the time, and it was Whole Celebrity Skin, and SD took the lead. Mm -hmm. I sang lead. Oh, make me over, down 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 I'm all I want to be. We heard, it, we heard it in a taxi on the way back from the studio when we were in London. And we weren't signed yet, and it was like, brand new song from this girl band named Haim. Yeah, like, yeah, it's Haim, I don't care. I really need my family. We're sisters. Yeah. Yes. We are Haim, and you are watching Hollywire. Hollywire. What? Bra, bra, bra. Yeah, it's women. Women, right? not women. 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 women.